this is like the lecture notes for chapter 15 on glaciers, section 1. And section 1 will be an introduction to glaciers and uh, what they are and the different types of glaciers. Glaciers have sculpted the earth all around you, and this graphic pictures illustrate different formations from glaciers, different glaciers. Kind of hard to believe, but um, this valley was carved by a glacier. Uh, this lake was formed by a glacier. This valley, uh, glacier started up here and worked its way down the valley, and even this valley was carved by glaciers. How did glaciers shape the earth? What is a glacier? Glacier is a mass of moving ice created from accumulation of snow over many years that compressed into large thickened ice masses. The glacier moves like very slow river eroding and shaping the land beneath it. What's important about glaciers? They're the second largest reservoir of water on Earth. And from the video we watched today, you'll know that 75% of the Earth's fresh water comes from glaciers. 5% increase in global average temperature would likely cause all the glaciers to melt, raising sea level around the world by 50 to 70 meters. Glaciers also represent permanent ice. That means it doesn't melt each summer. So they reflect climatic conditions and not the variations in weather. They more or less because uh, the northern hemisphere is covered with ice. It controls the climates and not, not the variations in weather. Glaciers are an important age of erosion and formed much of the landscape of Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, a lot of the uh, northern parts of the United States. They form deposits of sediment that have distinctive characteristics, the drift and till. The majority of the topsoil in Wisconsin, we can thank to Canada. Um, the glaciers brought it down to us in uh, Wisconsin. The most recent glacial period culminated at the end of the Pleistocene era, about 15 to 20,000 years ago. How the glaciers form? They start with abundant winter snowfall that doesn't melt away. The snow line, the that's the altitude above which snow is permanent. The snow is converted to glacial ice under overlying weight of accumulating snow. Two major requirements to form a glacier are low temperatures, it's got to be cold enough, and of course adequate amounts of precipitation in the form of snow. What happens when uh, glaciers form, if you remember from the uh, video clip, is the air is forced out of the snow crystals or the snow, and it fer forms what we refer to as fern. And this is a grainy ice crystal created from the partial melting and refreezing of the snow crystals. And one of the uh, things that gives a glacier its blue color is the fact that the air, um, you can see here in this process, the air has actually been squeezed out of the uh, snow crystals. Requirements for glacier formation, again, the temperature has to be low enough to retain the snow year-round. And this refers to accumulation has to exceed or be more than ablation. There has to be more snow piling up than is lost. Uh, the temperature has to be low enough to retain it. The altitude has to be high enough and the latitude has to be high enough and there has to be enough snow. Some polar climates are dry so the glaciers don't develop there. Graphic on the left shows you the height of the snow line, the altitude above which snow doesn't completely melt, varies with the latitude from or at near sea level and polar regions to a height of more than 6,000 meters at the equator. And the exact height of the snow line depends upon local and regional climates. Brief overview of glacial formation, and we can access this brief video here.
Uh, I'm guessing that my video isn't going to work. I'll work on that. Types of glaciers. <clears throat> there are two types, and they're categorized by their size and where they formed. The two different types of glaciers are valley glaciers, or the alpine glaciers, and the continental glacier, or ice sheets. Valley glacier tends to be a what we call a singular feature, and again, this is a valley or an alpine glacier to the words, the names are synonymous. Glacier formed in mountainous areas when ice moves down a valley. It typically produces a long, narrow, wedge-shaped mass of ice, and this glacier here is a valley glacier, typically a single feature moving down a single valley. Continental glacier, an ice sheet, uh, when we think of a continental glacier, we think of like uh, uh, Greenland, Antarctica, and it's a glacier covering a large land mass, typically millions of square mile, uh, kilometers, type of glacier occurring during the Ice Age, and it's present today, as I said, in Greenland and Antarctica, covering that whole continent or that whole land mass. And this concludes the lecture notes for Section 1. Section 2 will follow.